Welcome to the Hot Mic SE. The Senza Mayowa trial. A state witness reveals that Kelly Kumalo was called by the alleged perpetrator during a testimony. But before getting into the full gist, please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell. An unexpected bombshell was dropped in the Senzo Meiwa trial of the Pretoria High Court. Investigative officer Colonel Lambertus Tyne revealed that Kelly Kumalo said two calls with one of the accused. South Africans did not see the twist coming and have questioned what the calls were about. Colonel Lambertus testified on Thursday, 27 July, that Kelly Kumalo was called twice by one of the of the accused men who took away Senator Mayor's life. Mayor's life was fatally taken in Kumalo's mother's house in Voslorus on 26th October 2014. The people who were in the house claimed that intruders broke into the house demanding cell phones and money. The Bafana Bafana soccer star was allegedly fatally ah, in an ensuing scuffle. Stein is an analyst and investigative officer in the National Cold Case Investigation Unit. He was approached to profile all the targets and suspects identified by the investigating team. Stein told the court that, with the help of cell phone's record, he had established that Kumalu and accused number five, Kanin Tuli, shared phone calls on two occasions. According to the data Stein received, the first call was on 2nd August 2015 at about 10 p.m. The officer determined that Kumalo was connected to a transmission tour in Kimberley and call lasted about two minutes. The second call was only days before Mayor's passing on 15 October 2014. The call lasted about 98 seconds. So this brings us to the question, does Kelly Kumalu have a hand in the untimely demise of the Bafana Bafana star soccer? Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to drop a comment, drop a like, and please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates. Thank you.